born in 1921, the 22nd of October. I never have celebrated a birthday. For all the years I've known myself, the birthdays will come and I really do nothing about them. I lived an ordinary life. I didn't do anything to in extreme. Six children, three girls and three boys. I have two of the three sons of mine. They are practicing medicine in Canada. The other one will graduate in medicine from Jamaica. He's my grandson. And I always wish my grandson to do something nice. And then he will come up and grow up to be whatever he wants to be. But I will hope that he'll take it in medicine. Well, that's an excellent profession. I worked in a hospital after I was a pupil teacher. I left that and worked in the hospital as a learner dispenser. And then after that, I qualified and became a senior dispenser at the hospital. And I became the steward at the hospital, which is really the hospital administrator. After that, I decided that I wanted to go and study medicine because I, I did all the work that was necessary in the hospital at that time, including giving anesthetics, because there was only one doctor in the hospital, and he couldn't operate and at the same time give the anesthetic. So the dispensers were his assistant. Anyway, I went on to Mount Allison University in Canada, in a place known as Sackville, New Brunswick. And there I did a Bachelor of Science degree. And in my last year, I applied to Dalhousie University. They only accepted 55 students at that time. And I understand that they had 3,000 applications. And I was one of the applicants. And there I was admitted and did my medicine qualifying in 1958 and I came back to St. Kitts and practiced medicine here. Eventually I went to the Dundee Royal Infirmary in Scotland and returned to St. Kitts and was again employed at the hospital as the medical superintendent and obstetrician gynecologist. And incidentally, in addition to that, as the years went by, they asked me if I'd be chief medical officer and I, I said yes, and I did for a few years. There were a few black people. There's Dr. Lake. There was a... Uh, Dr. Stevens, there was a Chinese gentleman by the name of Dr. McLean. It wasn't that easy in my day. There, there was no scholarships in medicine. And one had to make up his mind what he's going to do and go along and do it. Medicine is what I liked since I was a small boy and I pursued it, and I was lucky enough to qualify in medicine. And since then, I've gotten a few honorary degrees. I got a degree from England, a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons. Then I got a degree from Scotland, fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh. And later on, I got another degree, fellow of the Caribbean College of Surgeons. And then I got another degree from Mount Allison University, a doctor of laws. 
and another degree from Dalhousie, another doctorate, doctor of laws. These were all honorary degrees. I didn't have to sit any exam to get them. Eventually, I became the Governor General of St. Kitts. And for that, the Queen honored me. She had honored me before then and given me an officer of the most excellent order of the British Empire. And uh, I got a knighthood, a GCMG, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. George. The most important incident is when I was asked to be Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis. The present Governor General has been very well chosen and I believe that he'll do an excellent job as the Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis. I believe that he is a very suitable person to be the Governor General. Thank you.